Gaudi é foda, né? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So I'm coming at you with a vlog today. Yes, my very first vlog. So pretty much what I'm going to be doing in this vlog, I'm going to be selling my used clothes that I don't even um, wear or I can't wear or I just never wear before. So I'm going to be going to three stores. Well, four stores to sell my clothes. I'm going to Play-Doh Closet twice. I'm going to Buffalo Exchange and I'm going to Once Upon the Child. These are all pretty much, you know, businesses that take generally used clothes. They like to take Nike, Puma, you know, clothes that people will wear. And especially you want to give them clothes that's around this season because that's like a bonus point. Um, Once Upon a Child is pretty much for babies. You know, you can sell them your used just just to use clothes and they'll take they take it but you know don't expect a lot from them okay because they only paying ten dollars an hour so don't be thinking you're gonna get fifty dollars from them if you give them a whole bunch of clothes so right now i'm at the gas station i already got my gas i'm on the way to go to Plato's closet and i'm gonna show you how my Plato's closet look in houston texas as i'm in houston texas and I'm going to show you, you know, how they kind of do. Well, I might not show because I don't know if they want to be on the camera, but I'm going to ask, though. So, but pretty much, we're going to go on this journey on getting, like, you know, some extra money, something like that. Something if you want, you know, to do on the side. You know, I kind of do this once a month because, like I said, I order so much clothes. I go shopping, all that, and I just don't wear all my clothes. So, I'm about to get some extra money, okay? So, I'm going to come back when we at um, Plato's Closet. Plato's closet to see what clothes they're gonna take. It's like 1040. It's like some a lot of people, well, probably like six people ahead of me. I'm like, damn, they all must be thinking the same thing. But yeah, so right now I'm just waiting in the car. I don't know how long it's gonna take, but I'm just waiting. I'm gonna see what they're gonna take, and then whatever they don't take, I'm just gonna go to Buffalo Exchange and go there. So it's me and say, oh, it's ready or whatever, because let me tell you something. I'm not expecting much here, but like I said, my clothes, I have a lot of clothes like Fashion Nova, AliExpress clothes. I kind of have, I feel like I have a lot of clothes in the summertime season, but we're going to see what they're going to take and what they don't take. And, you know, um, what else I was going to say? Hmm. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So I'm not sure how the weight is going to be. They ain't tell me no estimated time. So 
once they text me that everything is ready i'm going to show you how much i'm getting and i guess how many pieces they took so <laughs> You can see um, they gave me nine dollars and fifty cents for three items. So, like I said, when you go to Plato's Closet, don't expect if you give them a whole bunch of clothes, they're not gonna probably take probably like five or, or, or four pieces if you're lucky. So, like I said, don't expect too much from Plato's Closet. But yeah, I got nine dollars and fifty cents. As you can see, I'm on my next stop to Buffalo Exchange to see what they're gonna take and how much they're gonna give me. Here we go. So they offered me eleven dollars and ninety-five cents. I'm just putting my clothes back in the car, but I'm about to go inside and show you how the inside of this look. Um, if you're from Houston, Texas, this is the one on Montrose. I think this is no, not Montrose Shepherd. Kind of close to the Galleria, so we're just gonna go inside and show you. I'm gonna show you how it looks and what type of clothes they got. Buffalo Exchange. I think they took, I don't know if it tells me, I think they probably took like three or four items. So I got $11.75 from that. So my next stop is going to a different plate of closet, the one I'm on Katy Freeway by Memorial City Mall, kind of like around that area. And we're going to see if they're going to take any of the leftovers. So here we go. <music>
so I just got out of Plato's Closet just now and um, they gave me $7.95 for like four items. The items that they took, I'm surprised that they took that item because the last Plato's Closet, they only took, I think, if I can remember, maybe two to three items. Um, but this Plato's Closet, they took the items that I was least expected. But um, they would have took more, but they told me that they looking for more of the now season clothes. I felt like I thought I had. But when you go to Plato's Closet, you know, if you have clothes that's like, has like cuts on the side, not meaning like it's damaged, but that's how the design is, it's your best bet not to take it up there because they're most likely not going to take it. It's more like, kind of like a Forever 21 type of style of a Plato's Closet. So, um, yeah, they gave me $7.95. So, right now, I have $27 that I just made from just selling my clothes. So, I'm going to my last store. And that last store is going to be Once Upon a Child. And that's, like I said, it's for generally used children's clothes or toys and um, other stuff. But you can't sell them your car seat because for safety reasons. So, I'm going to go to the last store and see how much they give me. And then we'll see how much I came out, you know, the total and everything. And then that's pretty much it that's pretty much my whole day because right now i kind of started early in the morning well not too early but i left my house at nine and i think it's um two it's 204 in houston so i'm pretty i'm doing pretty good i, I don't expect to do this all day because i want to go home and sleep because i'm tired <laughs> but uh we're about to go to the next store so so as you can see I am walking to Once Upon a Child. I love those. And I'm about to sell them some of my son's clothes. Like I said, this is just like Plato's Closet. So don't expect $50 at most. The most I'm expected, probably, shit, probably $15. child store so they took like four items and i got like nine dollars and twenty cents um like i said i wasn't expecting that much because you like they just like a plato's closet pretty picky so don't expect too much especially when they pay at least nine they're playing their employees like nine dollars don't expect you're gonna get sixty dollars out of them even if you bring in nike the only way you're gonna get some good amount of money from them is if you bring it like i want to say probably like a um a baby bed a baby bed uh a stroller you might get like probably like the most forty dollars but close don't expect much so this is all for my vlog today i want to thank you for watching my channel you know this is something i do like every month this is not you know everyday thing you know what i'm saying this is something that you know a good hobby of mine it's just like the at the house experience today it's a beautiful hot ass day but you know make some extra money on the side that's all good for me so i'm going to count how much i have and let's let's see how much i got
hold on so as you can see i made like 36 dollars well i haven't counted change yet but that's how much um they gave me throughout the whole three stores i've been through um like i said this is a good hobby if you looking for you know to sell your clothes for um money or you can't wear the clothes or whatever the reason is you could go to these three stores well these two stores plato's closet and buffalo exchange i'm not sure if they have a buffalo exchange in other regions of the um united states but i know in houston they have a buffalo exchange and they have a plato's closet here and i'm pretty sure i'm not sure if plato's closet is global or it's just a houston thing like waterberg is just a texas thing but i'm pretty sure they have other stores in other different parts of the states that you know takes clothes for cash but yeah this is all the money i made today i think i made like 38 some dollars because i did got like four quarters so that's 38 so like i said this is how my day went and then i'm about to go get some chinese food but not with this buddy with my money on my car and i'm about to go eat and go home and chill so yeah, this is how much I made. <laughs> like I said, I just been to three stores and that was Buffalo Exchange. Well, actually four. I've been to Buffalo Exchange, Plato Closets twice, and then I just came from Once Upon a Child. So like I said, this is a good way to make extra cash on the side if you have clothes that you don't wear or you can't wear or you just never gonna wear. You know, you could sell them your clothes. But like I said, do not expect to get a, a lot of money from these people. These are really pen and pictures people. And they're very picky on the clothes that they pick out. So just because you might bring in a thousand pieces, they're going to find a way to pick out three items and give you $8. So don't expect that, you know, the more clothes you give them, the more money you're going to get. No, the more clothes you give them, the more variety they have to pick to get you those three options they're going to give to you. So like I said... It's a good way to get rid of some of the clothes that you don't want or that you can't wear or, you know, stuff like that. So, that's pretty much all how my day was. Like I said, I only do this once a month because, like I said, I order so many clothes. So, you know, I be just having clothes just all around the house, you know, just chilling and just, you know, I'm not going to wear it. So, I'm just going to give it away. So, um, pretty much that's how my day went and stuff like that and i want to thank you for watching my youtube channel don't forget to like comment and subscribe um don't forget to follow me on instagram and follow me on my business instagram where my makeup cosmetic line is at i sell lashes lip scrub lip gloss officially i'm getting into lipstick and you know lip tint so and don't forget to watch my shorts too i post shorts every single day of the swatches um that i do on my shorts and the formulas that i create every single day to you know to get to see what formulas, to see what colors that y'all gravitate towards too. So don't forget to um, like, comment, share, subscribe. And don't forget to watch my shorts. I do them every single day. I'm here every single day. But I'm trying to get more into my YouTube video posting. So thank you for watching my YouTube channel. And see you next time. Best, but you're the worst. What the hell was we thinking? Compromise for no reason. Cause we ain't got... But you're the worst What the hell was we thinking? Compromise for no reason Cause we ain't got But you're the worst What the hell was we thinking? Compromise for no reason Cause we ain't got But you're the worst What the hell was we thinking? Compromise for no reason Cause we ain't